Welcome to Zoom TV's How To segment brought to you by United Fuel Injection, the only place to take your turbo diesel. Now, over the year, Matt Craig from United Fuel Injection is going to give us some advice so we can keep our vehicle running perfectly and some tips so we can avoid those hefty repair bills by not picking up those small problems in our vehicle. Now, today, we're going to look at the combustion temperature of your engine and how important it is to make sure it's right because it can cause huge problems. How are you, Matt? Karen, how are you? Mate, thanks for coming back on Zoom TV and no better educating me to be a better man. Now, what are we looking at today? Today we're looking at pyro temperature or exhaust gas temperatures, as some people may know it. So say, Matt, we check our combustion temperature and it's high. What problems could it cause? Well, it can cause detrimental engine failures. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a good piston here. You can see there's no cracks, no harm on it. This piston's obviously been running with high pyro temperatures. Okay. It, it's cracked. You know, down the side, there's some visual scoring on the side of the piston. To the point where it burns a hole in the piston, you know, cracks the piston all the way down, terminal engine failure. When the diesel and oxygen ignite, it, it gives a certain temperature. That's what, you know, makes power. If that's too high, then this is the end result. We find there's a problem. How easy is the fix? It's reasonably simple most of the time. We put it on the dyno, we can check the boost level, check the air-fuel ratio, all that sort of thing. Make sure it's not overfueling and then report back to the customer and make the appropriate changes. One of the major problems could be too much diesel in the cylinder or the intercooler's not working correctly? Absolutely. If someone's, like I say, fiddled with the pump on the older you know, manual style fuel pumps or, you know, maybe the intercooler's blo blocked up full of oil from the breather, you know, all those inefficiencies add up mm -hmm. to increase the pyro temperatures and that's, that's why we need to check the pyro temperatures to make sure that the engine's safe. Now you can do stuff like that within a service? Yes, absolutely. If someone rings and says, I think I've, I've fitted a pyro gauge, I'm not too sure what the temperature is, give us a call. We can tell you what the acceptable range is for that vehicle. And if it's inside that range, then that's fine. But if it's outside the range, we can get it in, check all the basic things like boost, overfueling, you know, like the intercoolers clogged, and go from there. Now, Matt, if anyone wants a pyro gauge, can you take care of it? Absolutely. Just you know, give us a call or call in and um, we'll get one organised. Okay, now it sounds like a very cheap fix for what could be a major repair. Absolutely, mate. Five or six, seven hundred dollars for a gauge as against a ten thousand dollar engine rebuilt. Cheap in my way. Easy decision as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you want to know more, go to unitedfuel.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV or even grab our free iPhone app. Matt, thank you very much. Thanks I feel again. like a better man already. Thanks, mate.